<laughs> All right, Friday, November the 6th. TGIF. So glad it's Friday. This is a Tommy Ivo showboat dragster. A former friend of mine at work <laughs> asked me to build this for him. So I said, okay. So I started building it. And oh my gosh, what a nightmare. And let, let me tell you how this goes. This model, I believe, is from the 70s. So it's close to 30 years old. And uh, the the standards which they used uh, to build these models back then, it's not quite what they're doing these days. And so the pictures that you use to, to build this with just, just were subpar. The diagram was just subpar. It was just terrible. Those uh, exhausts right there, those should all be in a straight line. And I tell you, I tried, I really, really did try, and I just could not pull it off. And that's as close as I'm going to get. Um, the engines, actually, in, in, in retrospect, the engines really played a big role in how this all went together. And they didn't really tell you that or showed you how to do it. But uh, them being aligned was crucial, and I tried to, to get them as close as I could, but there's enough um, slop, if you will, in the model itself that it just didn't lend uh, to that kind of accuracy. So that made it difficult. Uh, overall, it's it's not bad. I, I, I really don't like it, to be quite frank with you, and... If I had my druthers, I'll never do another one of these. <laughs> but it does look kind of cool. A um, little bit of work on it. There's not a lot of detail you can do this. The engine really is it. Um, there's a little bit of particulars inside. Uh, there's a cluster gauge a little bit. And you can see the seat belts. Um, that chute, I really wish they would have put more detail into that, the parachute. I think that could have been a really nice piece. Uh, the wheels I dressed up a bit, as you can tell, they look they look rubber. They look like they've been on the road. Uh, the body didn't come out real bad. Uh, took a couple of few tries to get it painted to come out like this. Uh, not a lot of decals. I'm not really happy with them, but I, like I prefaced earlier, they're almost 30 years old, so they're really they're really not in good shape. But they stuck and. Uh, Overall, it doesn't look bad. So that's <laughs> Tommy Ivo's Showboat Dragster. It's got four Buick engines in them. And I will say this, it inspired me. As you know, I do Hot Wheels. So I'm looking for four engines that are similar to that, and I believe I found them. And uh, I think I'm going to give this a go, but I'm going to do it in Hot Wheels. I think I know how to put four engines together. Uh, the body, that's going to be a tough one, but I, I think I got that figured out too. So we'll see. We'll see. Can I pull off a Hot Wheels version of Tommy Showbo or Tommy Ivo Showboat? Okay, next on the bench is my little guy over here. I did him. I got frustrated with. I got frustrated with that Tommy Ivo car, so I decided to paint this little guy. This is a, if you can't make it out, the lighting's not real good for this. Let's see if I can, yeah, that's a little better. That's a, um, a plague mouse. <laughs> he's got his knife in his hand, and he's got his mask on like plague mice do. And he's got another knife in his other hand, and... Um, this actually, the, the base for this did not come from this. It didn't really have a base. So I found it, um, amongst some other ones I had. Let's see if I can't, I really can't get the light right. Let me see if I can pick it up and show it. Um, what's well, kind of neat, and so I tried a different technique for the wood, and that wood just pops. That that really, really looks nice. So I got the colors down. I got the technique down now. So that was really kind of fun to do. Um, on the back of his head, you can see he's got a little copper or brass 
helmet thing going on. So he's pretty cool. I, and uh, I've got three more of him in different poses, but I'm saving them up for the winter. I just, like I said, I needed to vent some frustration. So um, going on now is, and I'm going to swing around here in just a second, and I'm building a trailer. There's actually two trailers, and then eventually there'll be a tractor rig for it. And so what I'm going to show you now is this is the wheels for the, the tractor, the trailer part. Started putting them together again. I um, I kind of gave them a rubbery looking look, and what's uh, honestly you can't really depict it here in the picture or the video is uh, these are just hard plastic. There's nothing rubbery about these. These are hard plastic, but uh, the particular paint I use, they look just like rubber when I get done. Okay, so hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now this is behind me. This is my uh, my paint table. Got all my different paints. Here's my airbrushes over here. Um, I got one trailer. You can see it's standing on end over there. I started to do that's primer actually on the bottom there. That's not the paint. That's the primer. The sides I painted with um, uh, testers white enamel paint. I got that going and. Uh, that what you're seeing back here is the door. If you think about a tractor trailer going down the road, that's the roll up door. And uh, so that one's there. Here's the second one. Lesson learned from the first one. Here's the second one. And that, that one behind me is just not square and true. So I figured out a way to, to hold this one square. So I just got glued that, and I'll be doing the sides in just a moment. Behind me, if you look back there, that's the running gear for the other trailer. The black and silver one over here. That's called the bogey. That one has a set of wheels on it, and you can roll it around if you want. You notice that it has the hitch part up there where the kingpin goes in. So you could either hook the truck directly to the trailer, or you could hook this bogey here up to the trailer in front of it and then tow the two in tandem. Now this one back here, if you look, let's see if I can get it, get my fat finger in there, and there I am. That one there, notice how it's brown and the other one's black. The reason I did that, this one's going to be rusted up. This one's going into the trailer. And the trailer's going to have been sitting there for a while. It's going to be all dirty. Whereas the bogey there gets shuffled around. So it'll have some rust on it. But it's not going to be in as bad a shape as that other one. So that's why they're two different colors. This uh, coat right now I'm waiting for it to dry. Is there's a clear coat on it. And uh, what that does allows me to weather it. I'll actually put the color of the, the uh, trailer and that on over that. And then... I use a little bit, just a little bit of water in a brush, and I brush it away so that the color of the trailer is washed away, and then that rust brown appears. So it'll be as if it was rusted below. So those parts are there. You've seen the wheels. It's very simple. Those are all the parts, all right, right there. Very simple to put together. Now the truck, that's another story. That one's That one's going to be a bugger. But I'm doing these first because I wanted to have one of these prepared. So when I gave uh, the guy at work back his showboat, I'd have a trailer to put it in. I thought it'd be kind of neat. But uh, these trailers are just giving me grief. It's just a real bugger to put together because they're just not square and true. Uh, the one part was warped over all the years of sitting there. So uh, that one's kind of a problem. But anyway, any rate, that's where I am at right now. Um, tomorrow... It's supposed to be gorgeous outside, so I think tomorrow's going to be a riding day, and i got some errands to run. So these are going to sit here for a little bit. Oh, oh, I do want to say one thing. In the side of that part right there, those ribs going down there, those are, are uh, would actually be aluminum. If you think about it, when you're driving down the road, you look at a trailer, you'll see that the panels are probably steel, maybe not. But those ribs are definitely aluminum. And then they're riveted on. 
And so now my challenge is I'm going to paint those the gray as if it there's aluminum. And there's a technique, I don't know how I'm going to pull it off, but there's a technique that um, you can highlight the rivets, which is really what I wanted to do this. I wanted to, to try to do aluminum, and they call it um, pin counters. <laughs> People, that's what they call it, is that if you, you look for the rivets to be done, those are actually uh, pins, so you're a pin counter. <laughs> so anyway, that's why that's putting together. That's one thing I want to highlight. You'll be seeing that coming up in future uh, videos is as I try to pull that together. Um, not a complicated build. Um, my problem, again, is that the mold or the model is actually very old, and it's starting to warp, so it's going to be a little tough to put it together. And uh, But I think I got that beat. I think I know how to do this or that it'll be square and true and I shouldn't have a problem. All right, so until next time, we'll catch you later.